What up, y'all? It's Teacher, and today we're looking at y'all's theories for Pokemon Legends. Yay, let's go. By the way, as we're speaking right now, I know my room looks bright, but it is dark outside. There's an eclipse, and it's freaking me out. I thought I'd be excited to see it, but it's freaking me out. Ooh, new Pokemon Snap could have foreshadowed Legend ZA and its possible plot. Manus, this you might think there's no shot this random spin-off game did it. But look at this. In Ruins of Remembrance, this is a place in new Pokemon Snap, there is a mural that looks similar to the Lumio City that we saw at the end of the Legends Ye trailer. In the circles of the mural, there are five Pokemon and Xerneas is in the middle. And it seems like they're defending the area from meteorites. So this is the mural right here. This is really interesting. Now, it doesn't just look like Lumio's in Legends ES trailer, it looks like Lumios in general, right? It's a circular city with these five plazas that make up that exact pattern. And the center plaza is where the prism tower is. That's where Xerneas is marked on this. So if you remember new Pokemon Snap, pretty much there's these like these five luminescent Pokemon. A Steelix, Wishiwashi, Meganium, Volcrona, and Milotic with Xerneas in the middle. A mural depicting an old legend. The six Pokemon are protecting something. So it's cool, right? Because the mural also depicts a bunch of meteors striking what looks like Lumio City in that trailer, right? So it makes you wonder, is this something that happened during Legends EA's days? And this is what the story is going to tell us. And what they did was give a hint of this story to the new Pokemon Snap team. And so the story they made actually has a connection to what Legends ZA is going to be about. This is a really cool idea. These are the things I'm for. Y'all, when you come up with new ideas, I'm proud of you. Remember, it doesn't matter how stupid you look, come up with new ideas. So I'm going to explain to y'all what the story of new Pokemon Snap was. And what this mural seems to be is about not Kalos, right? It's about, what is it, the Lentol region? As far as I know, they're based off the Galapagos Islands. So that's like a bit west of South America. So it's pretty far from Kalos, but it does seem to have a real location. There's various different islands that you explore in New Pokemon Step. And the story is that many thousands of years ago, so not a hundred couple years ago, many thousands of years ago, these meteorites were about to strike the Lentol region. And so these five Pokemon, along with Xerneas' help potentially, stop the meteor. Now, this is just speculation in game. What it would seem like is something like Xerneas was actually the one that helped stop the meteor. But pretty much the meteor still, to an extent, lands. And the phenomenon caused from the meteor, the same way you would imagine like Dynamaxing, is this Illumina Pokemon luminescent feature that you see the five Pokemon getting. And so their main is like five guardians that are protecting Lentol. Now, here's the thing that I think you find later on in the game, which is that Xerneas also has this Illumina feature. So it makes it sound like the feature is actually twisted. And maybe it's not from the meteor impact that the Pokemon got them, but Xerneas blessed these five Pokemon to have this power to help stop the meteor. Something like that, right? But this is just the gist of the story. And as you can tell, there is an explanation to this mural and all for that. So I can give the easy answer and say this isn't Lumios. But the question would be in whether new Pokemon Snap. Because here's the thing with new Pokemon Snap. There's a lot of, it's a stupid word to use, but soul in Pokemon Snap. Because you don't get to really see Pokemon in their natural habitat in the Pokemon games. You can kind of see them interacting in Scarlet and Violet. They're in like groups together. But a new Pokemon Snap, they really dug down into what every single species of Pokemon that's in the game is and how they function. It's only exclusively through new Pokemon Snap that you can see, like, for example, Applin, what it really looks like inside the apple. So in a weird way, even though this is a spin-off game, it's like they have proper source material to work up, stuff that you can't even see in the main series games. There's no shot Pokemon gave this project to Bandai and then just said, you know what? Hey, go to Serebii to look up the Pokedex entries. We're not going to help you. Nah, they gave them probably the lore of every single Pokemon. So it's not impossible that along with giving them the lore, that around the time they were developing new Pokemon Snap, that especially since Xerneas was chosen as the mystery of new Pokemon Snap, one of the Kalos legends, which is now coming back, it could be possible that they slip some hints about Legends A in there. So that's what I'd say in terms of entertaining this. And it is interesting because new Pokemon Snap came out in 2021. Legends A is coming out in 2025 and all, yes, but the idea for Legends A should have existed while new Pokemon Snap was coming out. Development could spring back like two years 
to like 2019 or 2020 for this game so if they had any plans of legends it would probably just be the preliminary story but still knowing that they would be returning to kalos pretty soon in the future they could have still given these easter eggs to them okay so some additional lore on this lento region stuff when i said a couple thousand years ago it's 2000 years ago that this meteor strike happened and something else that's cool in terms of time is about a hundred years ago there was a heat type figure that explored lentol and uncovered some of these aluma pokemon and all which is interesting right yeah the issue is pokemon it's hard for them to cross over their true lore with the spin-off game like this. It'd be cool if they did, because it would show these Kalos legends are much more bigger than what they seem, right? It's like Dialga and Palkia, we know they're ruling time and messing with space and all, and they're not just limited to Sinnoh, so it makes them more grand. But if you saw Xerneas and Ivelto were in midst of other lands and all, it would hype them up more. So it'd be cool if in some tiny region called Lentol that Xerneas was worshipped even there too. And it gives more lore to Xerneas and Ivelto waking up every 800 years and all. But it's hard for Pokemon. Especially when they're so scared to retcon and all. It's very unlikely they'd want to abide by the lore also put in this game. But it's cool. The guy 100 years ago was called Captain Vince. He's a whole haggard looking dude. The Illumina Pokemon aren't anything too special anyway, right? They kind of just look like totem boosted Pokemon. So it could be cool if they were to merge the lore. Because remember, like I said, they had to give a lot of notes to Bandai when they made this. And the same way Alcea ended up making a main, main series game. You could have this turn out to be in the continuity of the main series game. So you could have Illuma Pokemon existing in this old Legends EA game. Not even as anything special like the Noble Pokemon equivalent, but just wandering around the region. And you can explain, they're just Pokemon that have extra life energy somehow through Xerneas a long time ago or something. Which I'm pretty much describing Alpha Pokemon, right? Which is something that was in Legends Arceus. These giant versions of Pokemon. That's how basic, I'm trying to explain, Aluma Pokemon could be treated. And you'd find them like sleeping like that Rapidash or the Snorlax. And New Snap doesn't even have to exist in the same universe as this hypothetical ZA game with these Illumina Pokemon. But it can just show. As we know, Xerneas could make these Illumina Pokemon. It did the same in this main series Pokemon game. But you know what? Forget it all. We'll make it simple for Pokemon. We'll separate it, right? Let's say Pokemon Snap has its own lore. It is interesting, the stuff depicted, right? Meteors hitting the region. Meteors is something that's highly speculated to be related to Megastones right now too, right? So you never know if, you know, if Pokemon gave these notes. If they know, Pokemon, that the origin to Megastones is something involving Meteors. And that's even more specifically why they gave this for what Pokemon New Snap would work off. What could be interesting is linking a meteor strike like this to the idea of Lumio City being redeveloped. You could say, I mean, obviously in real life, it was redeveloped intentionally, right? The leader said, you know what, we're redeveloping this place, fixing it up. But if they don't have a character that's going to play that Napoleon figure in these Legends EA games, you could have an alternate reason that Lumio's has to be redeveloped, right? So Legends EA could start off at a very dark moment where it's been hit with the meteor Lumio's. And that's why Lumios is redeveloping. So at the start of the game, you're actually in a pretty broken down Lumios city. And that's why you're like taking it back from the wild Pokemon and all. This would be a really interesting idea, right? The more I think about it. Because one, it creates the adventure vibe where you have to reconquer all the land with whatever team is in Lumios at that moment to make it safe. But two, because of that impact, it creates the potential for something to have like dissipated in the air around Lumios. So you can create the equivalent of the noble Pokemon through that. Maybe some phenomenon where the meteor had Mega Evolution related energy, which will uncover what Mega Evolution really is in this game. And also, if y'all saw that XY scrap video, that's some craziness, the alien stuff. You could even have something like that happening where there's like these weird mutant Pokemon, but not mutant where they look just horrible. Mutant in a kind of badass way. Mutant where it kind of looks like Pokemon were made to look more like Ultra Beast. Not mutant like weird sewer Pokemon with a bunch of tentacles. So like imagine running into a Pyroar and it's standing on its two legs looking freaky, right? Something like that could be cool. So it could be a game that explains Mega Evolution by introducing this new phenomenon into the region. And so they would introduce new Megas in the game. Yeah, but you'd also have like these six, seven species of Pokemon that are mutants uh, created from this Meteor Impact. That would be cool, right? I think that'd be really cool if you start the game and you know in the same way in Legends Arceus, okay, you wake up on the beach and all, 
in this game you'd wake up and the small village you're in all the houses are broken and you're actually starting the game off in a pretty heated moment you never really had that in pokemon starting the game off at a climactic time it's always peaceful and setting out even the legends ea was a pretty peaceful landing into the game damn something like that would be so cool i'm gonna have to look up more of those x and y scrap files man anyway my dude shank that like button and let me know your thoughts do you think some of the pokemon snap stuff has glimmers of what they have planned for legends ea in it and how do you think legends ea could start do you think something like that could be cool but yeah I'll see you on the next one. Take care.